Hi there, so this is the last video I think in this series where I'm going to show you how to design an app using the app design for templates. So this screen is going to be the detail view screen and um, previously we've been using social view, right? Social view, the social view template to design this app but um, the social view template does not have anything similar for a detail view but that shouldn't hold us back because all you need is inspiration, right? Inspiration from other apps. Um, and I'm going to take inspiration from the Moment template from App Design Vault. And the Moment template has one screen, a detailed view screen that looks like this. So if you see, um, well, let's quickly analyze this, right? So here we have a molecule, so basically the generic name for the drug, and then the indication. Well, um, that's the ailment that, that, that comes up when you use that, the country it's from, and then the product name in that country. So um, the idea, what we want to do here is like we have a detailed view, but then we want to use the same concept that we had where we'll highlight the main information on the screen, which is the ibuprofen, the name of the, the generic name of the molecule. And then the rest is going to come, actually it's going to take a little bit um, come in the background in a little bit. So um, let me explain what I mean. So if you see the moments template, right, I see that here Angelina Jolie's um, profile basically is the main information on this detailed view. So that's basically her name, where she's from, and then some information. And then the other text or the other bits of information that comes up um, together with it is actually smaller or um, it's in the background in a way. So we're going to implement something similar to this. We're going to have a um, detail view box there with a drop shadow and then we're gonna have um, the rest of the text coming down to this point so anyway let's get into it it's hard to explain when you don't see what's happening so when we get into it you see what I'm talking about okay so um, we have the detail view controller here this is previously what it was so I've made a new one which is something similar to this okay well we have here a Wikipedia link, the molecule, pathology, country, and product labels. So I have the same thing here, right? So what I've done now is I've just added um, a label. So this is going to be the main label, and then the subtitle, basically what what that means. And then there's a UI image view on the back background here. And then at the, at the bottom right, we're going to drop in the Wikipedia link, just like it was before. And then um, similar to how we had it on the detail view, we had a the title and then the information beside it we're gonna have something similar here as well so yeah so we're just taking inspiration from an existing app all right so um i've connected this to the which hold on before i do that i need to make sure that this new this new interface builder file is run so basically when we call our detail view controller we should load the new nib file so if i run that And I type in our favorite product. So we'll see here that we have the title. So basically the name of the product, the, this is basically what it is. The indication, country, product name, and um, the text down here. But of course, this looks very ugly, right? So let's let's spice it up a little bit. So to be, let me st start in with that. I want to do the detail box at the top. That's going to be basically this box at the top here so for that I'm going to use one of the social view templates oh, sorry one of the images in the social view template and that's gonna be I think it's called menu cell that's this one so it's kind of a green box right and then we're, we're gonna stretch this across um, the detail view the good thing about this it's, uh, it's kind of a texture so if we stretch it it's still gonna look look okay so um, so if I go back to where, where was that my detail view controller and I select that and I give the image to be menu cell so we have that and then um, let's try and make this text look like it's um, etched into the background so the best way to do that is adding a drop shadow. So if you're given a drop shadow, let's call it, let's give it a black one. 
yeah like that and then this one too should also have a black drop shadow that's kind of harsh if you think about it let's make it gray dark gray yeah that looks a little bit more subtle so we'll make this one dark gray as well all right so um I think that's it for the top bar then we need a um we need a, a drop shadow in there so if you go to our detail view controller i'm going to use a code snippet which i um i got from actually he's a client of the vault his name is tito previously i used to do shadows in a different way kind of a little bit more complicated and then all he had to, he just sent me like what five lines of code on how to add shadows and that was it so thank you very much tito anyways um so what we do is um, we're going to um, add, the, of course, we're going to have to add the quartz core framework, of course, right? So that's a quartz core framework added to the project. And then the CA layer, we have a shadow color, which is black. The shadow offset is um, what two down. So basically it's going to come up, come at the bottom of um, our layer. Then the opacity is kind of like transparent, like maybe halfway, max to bounce and then should rasterize. Okay, so that we have that for our detailed image view so that's this image view that shows up in here okay so if you run that let's see what we get at the top okay so that's looking good now we have our information up here and then we have a nice subtle drop shadow so for the bottom bit here, let's add the same background that we always had here. That's actually very, I mean, this green background, textured background. So what we need, just need to do is in our detail view controller, we'll set the background of the view to background of PNG. Right, let's run that again. So we have the green background, but then white doesn't look like a very nice um, color for this text. So let's make that green. So if I go back to my detail view interface builder file, I select that and I use um, that green here. And then that green. And then that green as well. Okay, and then we have, and if you see here, we have a drop shadow, and this actually makes it look very nice. So there's a white drop shadow, which is has a vertical component of one, which makes it look like it's kind of etched into the background as well. Same thing as we had here, but then this drop shadow has one, and um, has one for the, wait, hold on one second, has one for the vertical component, and then this one had a minus one. So that's like an inner drop shadow or an outer drop shadow. So for this one, let's use a dark gray color as well. So that's a dark gray or light gray. Let's leave it a dark gray. And then the same thing also has a white drop shadow, which makes it look kind of etched into the background. So I think that's, that's all we need to do for that. Let's run that and let's see how it looks like. Yeah, and I think we are done. Cause I don't know, I like this. Um, <laughs> the uh, let me see. Okay, the drop shadow is yeah. I think it's okay. So what else I would normally want to add is basically a scroll view. So maybe this would be like a different view, and then we can scroll this button bit in and out, in and out of this um, top here. So just so that we we have that illusion of uh, two layers. But I mean, we can go on and on and on and on. But I think I'm going to stop here for now. Basically, the idea is, I mean, what I'm trying to show you is that you can make your app look amazing without having to pay so much or without having to even try to struggle, without having to spend hundreds of hours in Photoshop trying to come up with an app, right? So the vault templates basically give you um, a starting point, a jumping point, and then you can, you know, put, in, put your app on the app store, be proud of your app, and then be proud of being able to, you know, share that with people. And then... Of course, get more downloads because when people see nice looking apps, they always definitely want to click on that buy button. So thank you for watching this. And of course, definitely, if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, and this was fun. To, this was fun to do. It took a little bit of time. I think it took me about a day, you know, to do all this. But it was fun doing this. So I, I had fun. I hope you guys had fun 
watching this as well. So thank you for watching and let me know if you have any other questions.